Firefly Boxing in association with Mayweather Boxing Channel. I'm here today at Club KO Boxing with the up and coming superstar Jake the Blade Ball. Jake, that was a full on workout I just witnessed. What's a typical week look like for you for training? A typical week is just oh, all hell actually, okay? So it's like two or three times a day, six days a week. Just um, just absolutely brutal, brutal sessions. Just just pushing limits every time. Just just get as fit as you can. Where does the name Blade come from? The Blade actually, who's that? I'm not sure it was my dad or one of them come up with that. It's just, um, the Blade is sharp, it's deadly, isn't it? So that's what, that's what I mean in the ring. I mean, I'm sharp and fast and I cause damage. So. So you're coming back to it, 6 and 0 with 5 knockouts. I photographed you at the last fight in Leeds. You only gave me a few minutes before it was over. Um, talk me through that fight. Were you expecting such a quick finish? No, well, the, the mate, um. The, like, the fellow was picked to do rounds, like he's a dur durable, durable lad, strong lad, never been stopped, never been put down. Um, and I, I was caught him with a real good backhand about two minutes in, dropped him, and after that literally he was gone. Like, I, I caught him a couple, a couple of like, little sweeping shots, but, um, but he, he was hurt from the first knockdown and the referee just jumped in and stopped it. Six fights today, which has been your toughest? Would that be your last fight in the Yeah, yeah, the, the toughest fight was my fifth, my fifth fight. Because um, listen, he's a tough kid, and another fellow, another tough durable lad. Um, but it was my own fault. Like um, I, I was ill from the Saturday through to the fight week on Wednesday. Um, didn't tell my trainer or none of my team, just um, because obviously I wanted to fight. Um, it took it out of me. I'd done a good six, good hard six rounds. I won, I won with ease, but just didn't perform to the best that I can. So, so I made it hard for myself. But obviously, like, my last fight, that's why, that's why my last fight, I was meant to fight before that in London, but um, I wasn't well two weeks before, so I said I pulled out of the fight, make sure I was 100% and 100%, and then, then I, I go and do things like I did in my last fight. You know what I mean, it's not normally day four. So, your son's one of the biggest promoters in the UK matchroom. How did that come about? It came about um, working with Jimmy Mack and Chunky, actually. I was sparring with them. I got asked to help Chunky out with, with his world title fight against the real. Um, coming down sparring, uh, Eddie Owen come down, was watching the sparring, saw me, liked it, and just got chatting from there, and the rest of the history. So rumour had it, one of your boxing idols is Sugar Ray Leonard, how did he become one of your idols? I mean, I've watched Sugar Ray Leonard since I've been a child, I just, just, I just love all the, the swag, the movement, the footwork, the punches, it's, it's, just, it's just amazing, it's absolutely inspired me. Um, you sparred with many people, including James for Gale, how was that, and what do you think of his upcoming fight against Badoo Jack? Um, yeah, no, well, 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 James has brought me on I think, leaps and bounds. I think it shows it, it, it in like, my first six contests. Um, and with, with him against Barry Jack, Barry Jack's strong, strong, tough, super middleweight, you know what I mean, big. But um, James is going to, I think James is going to just go torture him. He's going to be too much, too much movement, too much speed, power. He's going to absolutely cause hell. Who's your coach and what is the one key piece of advice he's given you? Jim, Jim McDonald trains me. The best bit of advice he's given me is um, basically not to try to impress anyone when you fight, just, just go out and fight my fight because obviously when you try too hard, that's where things go wrong. So fight my fight and, and, and it will come. Calbrook and Triple G, what are your thoughts on that fight that's coming up? I think it's, 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 it's an amazing fight. Uh, fair play for Calbrook for taking it, coming up for well, wait, two weights to, to fight the pound for pound. Best fighter in the world in my opinion. Um, well, there, there's not a middleweight in his own division who, who would fight him. So. I think it's a big ask. Listen, he's a big, he's a big welterweight, but being a big welterweight and being a big middleweight is two different things. Like, listen, he's an English man, so I'm going to be back in Calbrook all the way. But I think Glossin's going to be a bit too big for him. Yeah, jumping up too. Yeah, it's, 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 it's different if he's fighting, say, a domestic or like a sort of low-level middleweight. I think it'd be good work for Calbrook. But the steps rush right in with the, with the pound pound best middleweight in the world, or one of the best fighters in the world. Um, it's, going to be, it's going to be a big, uh, a big thing to ask for Kel, but listen, it, it all depends on, on, on the fight of touching touch up at the night. You know what I mean, if the best Kel turns up and not so good Golovkin, listen, it, it's boxing, anything can happen. One punch can change it all. Yeah, agreed. So, what's next for you? Um, are you going after any belts? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, well, listen, well, uh, just chatting to Eddie now, chatting to Eddie and Jimmy Mack. Um, we, we, we are going to be looking for a title towards toward, toward, toward the end of the year. Um, just, just need to get some rounds and experience. That's, that's all I need. I mean, we need to find some guys now who's tough and durable who, who can take me a few rounds. Um, and then from there, just push on, push on. Um, we're hoping to get out either September, October, beginning of October. Just waiting on Eddie to get back to us and let us know. But um, yeah, just, just, apart from that, just, just training away in the gym, keeping fit. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Jake, and we can't wait to see what's coming up for you in September. <laughs>